Hello, I'm Angela Anderson, and today I'm going to be demonstrating Dynasty's Black Gold Whale's Tail Brushes. And as you can see, they have this really cool design, basically two angle brushes back to back with a void in the center and two areas where it'll make contact with your project or surface that you're using. Um, again, great quality as always from Dynasty. We have four sizes here and this is the one inch and the three quarter inch. They also have a half inch and a fourth inch on these whale's tail brushes. So today I'm going to use the half inch just so I can fit a lot on this page. I'm also using Americana Paints by Deco Art, and I have four colors here that I'm going to play with. Peony Pink, Buttermilk, Hauser Light Green, and Bright Yellow. And I am getting used to a new camera system, so you can see that I'm going off camera a little bit, but I will get the hang of it, and we will be rolling. So. I'm just going to double load this with the peony pink and buttermilk. I've got a little bit of medium over there to help it glide on this paper. And the first stroke that I always like to try with a, a new brush is kind of like scroll work or feathers, that sort of thing. So here we go. Let's see make sure I'm on camera. So I just want to do like an S stroke and go over that again. And I'm just going to bring in these strokes in an S motion. Gradually making them smaller and smaller. as I get towards the bottom. And you can actually layer those and get them fluffed up a little bit if you'd like. Build the body of the color. But I think it does a nice job of these scrolls. And you can make some really cool flowers with them too, which I'm gonna show you next. So this one, I'm going to start on the chisel leading with the buttermilk and I'm just going to touch and curve, staying on the chisel the whole time with a little bit of pressure. And this is kind of like, I guess, a spider mom look. And, and to get that effect, you want to stay on that chisel edge and keep them kind of spiky. And we might have some drooping down. Nice and fluffy. Next, I'm going to do, <laughs> you're going to love this, so easy. Touch, pull down, let that brush get a little flat, and this brush will practically paint your tulips for you. Isn't that cool? See those front petals and you leave dimension so it looks like you got some petals coming in from the bottom and then you may want to have some that hang down a little bit on this one too. Why not? 
How cool is that? So, moving right along, um, you can also do some plaids. And just by taking your brush and starting on that chisel edge, you just want to pull down. And there's like your thick part of the plaid chisel edge. And you just want to alternate between thick and thin. If you lead with the white, you're going to get the, the pink to show up. If you lead with the pink, you're going to get the white to show up. And then you just want to go across the other way. And when I switch colors in a minute, you're going to, I'm going to actually add some other colors to this plaid. So we'll save some room for the next set of colors. All right. So, just when you thought I was done, moving right along, I'm on the chisel edge again, and I'm going to go kind of in a slow motion and get a cute ribbon. Speed that up, and we'll get a little party, like confetti going. Who doesn't like a party, right? Okay, now how cool is this? If you just simply, let me get a little bit of this paint. I need a nice clean load on this. If you just simply touch, touch, you get these tiny little birds. As you can see, it looks like they're little bitty birdies. If you if you kind of touch and lean down, turn the brush backwards, lean forward, you can get like a full butterfly or a bow tie just by touching. and lifting, touching, and lifting. Now you wouldn't have a half white, half pink butterfly, but you get the idea. Let me kind of hold those up a little bit so you can see better. You get the idea. I'm gonna get used to the camera, I promise. But um, they make cute little butterflies and little birdie, you know, like in the background and cute little bow ties. Um, cute. Um, so the next stroke that you can do is sort of like a, from the side, you want to go in and just touch down and look, scoop up. And if you layer those, you might look at those as like a four petal flower. Again, you could load with different colors and change that up, kind of like a hydrangea cluster. Or it looks kind of like you could make a, um, a pine cone or even like a Christmas tree look out of it. I think this is, this is one of those things where you can play with this and just come up with different ideas of your own. And if you have some ideas, why don't you leave them in the comments below this video? So sometimes when you're close to something, you can't see it, but you guys may see something that I don't see. So that's fun. And then I think my favorite flower that I created with this brush is just a simple daisy. So just going back and forth.
These are those little four shortened petals there in the front. Bring some of these out a little more so you can see it a little better. And that scoop in the middle there is where you can add your center. So there you go, a simple little daisy there. And then last but not least on these um, florals, I noticed that you could also make a uh, kind of like a parrot tulip um, leaf or petal just by stroking up come to the chisel lay it back down come up to the chisel curve and lean in so let me do that one more time up to the chisel scoop down and around and then, um, you know, if you go in a full circle with those, I mean, you could create like a um, an iris or I think they call them parrot tulips. If you put a little wiggle into it, and then you can still scoop down, it gives you sort of another variation of that as well. So wiggle up, chisel, and scoop down. All right, so I'm going to rinse my brush and load some Hauser Green Light with my light buttermilk. I'm going to go ahead and finish that plaid we were working on. Um, so again, I just want to, maybe I'll turn it over, no, I'll leave it that way, this way, and do some green stripes in there. So it makes a great plaid. Um, and then it, you can also do stems and leaves. chisel edge all the way down there and I am leading with the lighter value and I'm just going to scoop up and come to the chisel on that and I've got to turn my paper around to do this side and so this side I just want to come up chisel and back around So there's that tulip leaf. Um, I can make a stem on, on this guy. And I'm just touching the, the green edge of my brush and not the, the buttermilk. Up to the chisel. Um, okay, so down here on my daisy, I'm going to lead with the green color, push and lift, and then I'm going to come around on this outer edge with my green and outline it and pull the stem through. Do a couple of more. Makes a nice leaf. And I might, um, let's see, we'll dot some of the centers of these and see what they look like as little cluster flowers. 
And that is pretty much what I wanted to show you again. Again, these are the Whale's Tail Brushes by Dynasty. And I think you're going to love them. And I'll just hold this up a little bit so we can kind of see what all we created. We've got the plaid. We've got an easy, easy tulip. We've got a spider mum, a nice fancy little scroll, a cute daisy and some leaves. We've got these little, whether you want to make them flowers or pine cones or trees, totally up to you. Um, some other leaves or petals of flowers that you can use to create your own designs. And we've got little birdies, bows or butterflies or bows, whatever you want to do there, um, a nice um, smooth ribbon, and then like a little party confetti going on there. So that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If, if you want to see more, leave me a comment below and visit my website at www.angelaandersondesigns.com. You can also go to that website and you will find links to all of my social media. So follow me, friend me, subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the latest updates. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And you guys have a blessed day.